Okay guys, so we are going to be cleaning soot. Well, this is already clean, but all up here, still not done. Soot off this house, and we've uh, chosen three cleaners to test. We're going to test um, dish soap, Dawn, oh, Dawn Platinum. We're going to test Simple Green, and then we had a suggestion from one of our golfers, uh, LA Awesome. So y'all stay tuned and we're gonna get into this. You keep wiping the cheap. Yeah, you just sweating on everything. The whole floor over here. I can't <laughs> step up on Okay, floor. we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys, so been looking for a solution to our soot problem. We have soot on our back porch and on the paint because of cooking with a grill, smoking uh, food, and also from our fire pit because it does occasionally get cold in Florida and probably not a great idea to put a fire pit underneath the porch. So these are the uh, three products I'm going to be testing. Um, Dawn, I've read on the internet that this seems to work uh, okay to remove soot and things like that from smoke. Um, Simple Green, this seems to be a big favorite on the web. And then recently on the golf course, I had a guy, he said, why don't you try LA Fantastic? And so I got this. And as soon as I opened the bottle, it started eating the instructions off. So you gotta be careful with this one because it, it, it seems a little bit strong. But these are all products that are safe for the environment and things like that. So it's not going to cause harm, or so I've read, to the environment. If I'm wrong, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below. But when we're going to test these, we're going to basically be using this little brush. I got this at uh, uh, off Amazon for a couple bucks. You know, I'll leave links down below for all these products. But this one, uh, I'm really curious to see how it works. Because I've kind of played around with these ones, but not this one yet. For our test, we're going to be doing a two-to-one solution on this and this. We're just going to use pretty much straight Dawn and some water. So let me set up and uh, right now I'm going to try the Dawn and this is a 50-50 solution of Simple Grain. I'm going to have to actually uh, dump this into a container and mix this solution and this sprayer because I only have one spray ball. So here is what we're working with. I've already power washed this and this is what it left me. I also have some streaks on my my ceiling here so i'm gonna get up there and scrub that too but for this test we're just going to focus on seeing if we can remove some of this with one of the products okay for our first test we're going to be using the dawn platinum now i'm just going to do it right here i'm going to do a small area and we'll use this hand brush i've got my hose here on mist so because with the dawn it's about pretty much a, a paste almost so we have to wet it down there there we go now I'm gonna take my Dawn use my old nasty sponge here outdoor working sponge Let me some soap and wipe it on that's that's actually, it's actually quite a bit. Let's see how it soaps up. Okay. So that's going to be my, my test.
spot. Take and take my brush here. Well, the, the soap is getting black. Okay, so the soap's all black. Put a little bit of muscle in that, so let's see how it looks. Well, it's a uh, it's a lot lighter. So if you have a, a light soot buildup, like a fireplace or something, Dawn may be your go-to if you just take care of it often. Let's try the next. We're going to try a simple grain. So now we're using simple grain. I'm not going to use the sponge on this one, but this is a two to one mixture. And uh, this is, when it came, it was concentrate. So I had to dump it out into another container so I could get my two to one level. I'm going to spray this right here. That's probably too much. Okay, I'm seeing black come off here. I'm going to try to scrub as long as I did last time. Okay. Okay, that's a huge difference between the simple green and the dish soap. Now we're going to try the LA Fantastic. Okay, so now we've reset everything and we're ready to try this LA Awesome. Now, as I said earlier, this LA Awesome, we opened it up and started eating the instructions off of it. So, um... It is safe for paint, and we're doing a two to one. They say for smoke damage, you want to do a two to one ratio, and it has a bunch of different instructions on the back here, so you can pick your clean and need, which always Simple Green did that. But they say Simple Green, you can clean everything. So I put my uh, LA Fantastic, or LA Awesome, I put my LA Awesome in my simple green container. If you see the color, it's no longer green. So we're just going to spray down right here. What would be really ideal is if we got a cleaner that was strong enough, I could spray it on and it just, uh, I could power wash it. Let's go. Kind of looks like it's already coming off. Okay, so I did that, I think about as long. I'm gonna take this and rinse off. Oh wow. Oh wow, you can tell definitely right at this spot's bigger than that spot and I scrubbed that one. But this just yanked it off, it is so clear. <laughs> and the sizes. I, I thought I was scrubbing the same size area. I don't know why it looks so much bigger, but Maybe it's just that awesome. So as you saw, LA Awesome was the clear winner. I've got the outside eaves all cleaned up, looking nice. I've got a lot of this done. Um, Danielle says, I, I really have to work on that roof if I want to not have to repaint. So that's why I'm hoping I can That's get... just because it's a, a more of a whitish and it's 
it's getting off, but we, we did about, I don't know, three years worth of burning wood out here in our little pit. And uh, we probably shouldn't have done that. No. So, and I've spent about eight hours on this so far. So I've got a lot done, still have a lot to do. And uh, I don't want a cleaner, because I saw cleaners that were far more aggressive, but they would kill the grass. And right now I've been working on this for uh, three days for a couple hours a day. Grass is still good. Five days. Five days. And our grass is not dead, so that's good. <laughs> so it hasn't killed the grass, and uh, all is right in the world. If you're looking for Great Eats Good Recipes, go check out this girl's cooking. Mm -hmm. You can tell I can't cook, but... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> that is not what's behind that story. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but, yes, fantastic recipes every week. And, uh, well, she cooks pretty much every day of every week, but we make new recipes for our YouTube and also on our website. So y'all go check them out. Really cool. I try. <laughs> Trying to make it all budget friendly. Yes. Because, you know, food is expensive right now. Tart, but tart. I, we still do like good food, though. Well, with it's all about the cooking and the marinating. So that's what it is. The roasting. Yes. Yeah. So, y'all check that out. If uh, this was interesting or you have feedback, leave a comment down below. If uh, you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up down there. And y'all, please subscribe. And take care, guys. Sorry, I have neighbors over there. Y'all stay tuned. Maybe you just have a dawn smoke need because I struggled a little. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs>